Today I am going to show you how to get your map to the full 100%. I know that some players would ask, why would you do that? Or that's cheating. But in the end, everybody plays the game the way they want. The why could simply be because of having an extra profile and not wanting to rediscover everything all over again. The first thing we're going to do, is preparing our game for making changes to the game.si file. First things first. In order to do anything that comes ahead, you need to make sure that you can use the developer's console in the game. I'll show you how to do that. Navigate to your file browser. Navigate to, documents, and then one of the game's folders. You need to do this step, for both games, if you want to change the save files from both games. In the game's folder, double click the config file. Once the file is open, you have to search for two specific lines of text. The first one is, use it space g underscore developer space 0. Change the 0 into a 1. The second line is, use it space g underscore console space 0. Change the 0 into a 1. Don't forget to save this file. And now, up to the next step. Select the profile you want to work with, and click on Manage Profiles. The next thing you want to do is click on Edit Profile. Make sure to uncheck the box, next to, use Steam Cloud. Then, click the Apply button. And start your profile, by clicking on, Use Selected Profile. When you are in the game, the first thing you want to do, is opening the developer's console by tapping the appropriate button on your keyboard. In the text area of the console, you type the following, g, underscore, save, underscore, format, space, 2, and press enter. You can then close the console again by hitting the same key on your keyboard. Let's take my map as an example. You can see that the explored roads are equal to 0%. Now close the map, and save your game. Next close your game. Open your file browser and navigate to your documents folder. Once in that folder, choose the game you want to change the files of. Go to your profiles folder. You can now see, in the date modified column, which profile you need to open up. You just saved your game, so, the folder with the most recent date and time is the one you need to open. Now, open your save folder, and click on the save file you need. It's the game.si file that we are going to alter. When you first double click on it, you'll notice that the file isn't readable. Opening the file, can be done with the standard notepad program, but I suggest using something like notepad++. That program can deal with way more lines of code, way better and faster than the standard Windows notepad. A link to the free notepad++ program, can be found in the description of the video. To make that game.si file readable, we need another piece of free software, called TSSE Tool. The link to the web page, where you can download the tool, is mentioned in the description of the video. In the TSSE Tool, you have to select the game you're working with. Underneath that, you'll be able to select the right profile and save file. When you selected the save file, you'll notice that the decrypt button lights up. You can now click it, to decrypt the file. Go back to your file browser and try to reopen that game.si file. Now it's readable. The next step is to search for a line that says, Visited Cities. You can do this in two different ways. You can scroll through the text, or you can use the search feature, by pressing, Ctrl F. A new window opens up. In the text field, you type, Visit, and hit Enter. In my example, I only visited the starting city, so, I find a line saying, Visited Cities, 1. Put your cursor in front of that line. The next thing you want to do, is scroll down, or use the search feature again, until you find the line saying, Drivers Offer. Now you need to select everything, from the line saying Visited Cities, up until the line, right above the line saying Drivers Offer. We are now going to replace the selected content, with the content from a text file, that I'll provide in the description of this video. Go to the provided link, and download the text file, as shown. 
Once the file is downloaded, open it, and copy the entire content. An easy way of doing that, is clicking anywhere in the text area, and hitting the buttons Ctrl A. Right click the selected content and choose, copy. Now, go back to the game.si file that is still open, and replace the previously selected text with the copied content. You can simply do that, by hitting the buttons, Ctrl V. Now that the content got replaced, you need to save the file. If all went well, you should now have a 100% explored map. Let's check it out. Open the game. Check the map and notice that you don't have the whole map explored. That is normal. You first, need to load your saved game. After loading your saved game, and checking the map, you'll see that you now have a 100% explored map. Congratulations! You did everything right. You can do this for both games. And, you can do this for all your profiles. In the future, and from the moment I can, I will upload the newer version's data, and add the download links in the description of this video. Wait, before we forget, just to make sure, save your game manually before signing out of the session. You never know. Please help the channel out by doing the following, subscribe, like the video and share it on social media. Done? Thank you very much.